Hello Virgo. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Virgo placements for May 31st through June 6th. We're going to take a moment to breathe. If you want to skip past this, it'll be about one minute. Otherwise, straight posture in through the nose, out through the mouth. Virgo. My goodness. All right. Shuffling your cards, your messages came flying out. So I'm going to show you what came out and then we're going to go ahead, shuffle them in and see what comes out. All right. Because we have two groups of you. We have a group that has not yet taken this step and we have a group that has. This is for the group that has not yet taken that step forward. All right. The overall energy is self-worth. The moon, the world, three of autumn, hermit, ten of spring, seven of summer. Your intuition has been screaming at you for a while now let go of the worry and the fear and understand the truth of a situation all right there's a situation you wish was different but it's not going to be number 18 comes down to a nine the end the world a brilliant success Freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. You are leaving something, you're thinking about leaving something. Everything that you could learn from this situation, you have learned, Virgo. All right? It's time for you to step into your self-worth. Three of Autumn, follow your passion when it comes to your career. The Hermit, here you are. Take a break from society, <clears throat> a commitment to your spiritual growth, find or be a mentor. Ten of spring, ask for help, all work and no play. Seven of summer, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion only ar arrives from overanalyzing. Life experience, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. It is time to spread your wings. Ace of Earth, inflow of money or abundance, a promising new business venture. Important documents or contracts. Ace of Water, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. The sun, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Again, self-worth. If you're keeping yourself in a situation that you've learned everything you could, that you know isn't going to go anywhere, you know the final outcome anyway, it's time that you stop sinking your energy into a sinking ship. All right. If you're worried and confused, it's time to just take that leap forward. 
a lot of you are going to be moving, leaving a relationship, leaving a job. It's time that you put your energy into you because you're worth it. And that's what the moon, the eclipse, is bringing for you. A release of the self-doubt. And what, what did I get for you? Self, oh my God, that is insane. Virgo, self-worth. Holy crap. Okay. That's insane. That is insane, Virgo. Self-worth. What what are you worth? What are you worth, Virgo? May 31st through June 6th. For those that have taken that leap of faith. Busy, 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 busy. Ooh, bliss and fire chalice. Following your bliss. So much energy here and you're going to need it. You're about to be busy. Thoughts. Yeah, get out of your head. Okay? And I opened it right back up to bliss. That's what's keeping you going is your thoughts for the future. Yes, your thoughts for the future is what's keeping you going. Oh, I got a song for you. We're going to play four seconds. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Virgo. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Your life is about to get busy. Avalon and nutrition. You are protected. You are highly protected. Nutrition. You rule nutrition, Virgo. Nutrition of the mind, body, and soul. It's time to start feeding yourself proper things. That includes the energy around you, your thoughts. You are protected. Feed your thoughts in a healthy manner. Feed your soul. It is time for you to get in a place where you are feeding your soul, okay? Spirit is there with you trying to help guide you. But you have to take the step. Spirit can't do it for you. All right. What's going on for Virgo, May 31st? The Emperor taking control. Princess of Spring. Release. Seven of Summer again. Okay. Taking control using logic and structure to increase yourself, your success. Get organized. Princess of Spring, it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. Release. Number 13 breaks down to a four. You got two fours. You're building your foundation. You're focusing on your foundation. Let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. It is time to move on. Seven of summer. No more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. What is this? Nine of fire and renewal. Seven of earth and four of earth. Taking control, nine of wands, nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that what you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Whatever you are creating, and a lot of this, a lot of you, this is going to be on the side. Whatever you are creating on the side, don't give up. Don't give up, Virgo. Don't give up. You're about to get really busy, but don't give this up. Princess of Spring, it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizon. Renewal, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. It is time to move in a new direction. 
You may be physically moving as well. Release the past. You have seeds that are very well planted. Okay? Stop holding on to the past for comfort. Get out of your comfort zone. Seven of Earth. Make a decision. Four of Earth, or Seven of Summer. Four of Earth being too frivolous or too cautious. Good business decisions. Stop procrastinating. You know what you want to do. You know what you want to do. It is time to go after that. You may be doing something temporarily or that is going to temporarily cause havoc in your life. Like a move or switching jobs or who knows. Um, don't let that confuse you. Okay? Judgment. Whatever you decide is will be in alignment with your higher self. All right, make your decisions that are alignment that are in alignment with your higher self. If you don't know whether or not to do something, ask yourself, is this for my highest good? Look into the matter, look into your emotions. They are speaking to you. Yes, look into your emotions and be careful of being backstabbed. Holy crap. If you don't let go, you're going to get your head chopped off. All right? I'm just saying. Ace of Wands. It's time to take action. Wheel of Fortune. It is time. It is time, Virgo. The Lovers. Make the choice. You are looking into a choice. If you do not make this choice, it's not going to end well. But you know this. This is something you already know. I am only confirming it for you. If you have no clue what I am talking about, check your other placements. Okay? Oh, and by the way, you're being watched. Just saying. Move forward on this new journey with your heart on your sleeve. Don't be afraid. If you cannot have your heart on your sleeve right now, if you have to be careful because of people around you, you're not in the right place, right? Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? You are heading straight into your self-worth. The choice, you may be very sad, all right? This choice may make you very sad. Oh my God. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. This just took on a whole different dimension. Hold on. Temperance. There's the Two Cups. Two of Wands. Judgment. Four of Cups. Five of Swords is on the bottom. If you are in anything that is that is this backstabbing energy, this bickering, this one-upping, this fighting. It's time to leave that because that is not good for your soul. It is not good for your spirit. Certainly not good for your mind and your heart and your body. And you know this. Time to walk away, Virgo. Time to walk away from that energy. That energy is not good. You make this decision, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, you will, if you are single, you, or if, you, if you're if you able to date, you will be coming into alignment, very possibly with a love connection, but certainly with people that are not the Five of Cups, all right? It's the, it's the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. It's time that you focus manifesting what it is that you truly want by being in a, an energy that allows you to do so and not have you worry. Okay? Two of Wands, Judgment, Three of Cups. If you don't make the decision, you're not going to be happy. If you don't make this decision to change something, whatever this is for you, you're not going to be happy. Also, do not be so busy that you don't see what's in front of you, what's being handed to you. Keep your eyes open for opportunities. There's going to be opportunities coming in all over the place, but you've got to, you've got to see them. 
okay? The divine is trying to hand you this Ace of Cups here, and there it is right there. Whatever this is, Virgo, it's time for you to take it. Time to make that change. Life is about to begin. Hope you are ready. All right. Let's get advice for the week, please. Advice for the week for Virgo, May 31st through June 6th. Guys, I go live on every Sunday, um, free readings and all 12 signs. Those 12 sign readings are lit, jam-packed, very short, so much energy. All right. Advice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you are so protected. You are so protected, but we're not taking a book. Okay. Oh, the Seneschal keeps coming out. It's time to get into a healthy place. Choice. Ha, 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 the full card. <laughs> oh, why not? We knew it was here, right? This whole reading was about this. Choice. Options. Opportunity. Free will. Self-determination. Mindfulness. Manifestation. Cause and effect. Reward. Consequences. Procrastination. Choice creates reality. Belief is a choice. Inaction is a choice. The choice is yours. Determine your direction. The past has influence. Choice offers reward or consequence. Weigh your options. Choose wisely. Stop procrastinating. Be responsible for your choices and awareness and powers. You know what your choices are. Okay, Virgo, you know I love you. I hope to see you soon. Have a great week. Peace to you. Ciao.